Do you think you'll ever become like as big as Duran Duran? Excuse me? Do you think you'll ever become as big as Duran Duran? Or... Well, they, they got pretty big, but uh, they're a little broken up now. I'd hate to have that. <laughs> have you met any well-known artists? Well, oh, you've opened for some big, big people. Well, I think, uh, yeah, we've gone on tour with uh, various people such as uh, Rick Springfield and uh, Tina Turner. And, yeah. and usually you get a... Tina Turner? To... Little Richard, some of these people. Little yeah. Richard, yeah. We... yeah. <laughs> that guy's crazy. <laughs> we had a room in the same hotel that we were staying in when we were in uh, Los Angeles filming the Star Search bits. And uh, we just walked up and knocked on the door and he let us in and sat us down and rapped about... And showed us his book and said, now look, doesn't that look like Prince? He's showing us his book. <laughs> yeah. Prince is just doing what I was um, doing. I'd like to know how you guys handle your su success. You're not going to get big-headed, are you? I mean... <laughs> no, the hair grows, the head stays the same. <laughs> hey, these guys are from Bloomington in southwest Minneapolis. They won't get big-headed. Right. No, we, we keep that in check all the time. We make sure that we're all we do. you know, down to earth. And it's got to be tough, though, when you have... Well, anyway, we, we have this, we have this, this uh, what, the, the ego check or whatever. No, none of us, we always keep each other in such a line that nobody can get. Nobody gets away with it or else yeah, they get nobody gets down. away with anything. Really. Really. The butt of sarcasm. all the jokes of the day. The knife of the sarcasm. <laughs> yeah. I was it's wondering, wicked. when are you guys going to start working on your next album? Well, that, uh, that depends on what happens with this yet. We're not done with this record yet, and uh, we still have a lot more promotion and, and touring and so on to do with this record. Right. I don't think, we're thinking ahead of this record, the next one, um, and trying to write the songs for it right now, but uh, as far as planning on when it's going to be done, that's, that's totally beyond say right now. For, for those of us here and at home, Eric, let's start with you. I, I, what are your ages? I'm uh, 24. 23. 25. 23. 23. Paul and I are the elder statesmen at 25, yes. Okay, so you, you know. Elder statesmen. <laughs> Quarter of a century. This the album, what did I do with my album cover? It's over here somewhere. I, I want to hold this up. The, the way that this album came about, the music industry is kind of crazy anyway, but where am I? Over here? Over here? <coughs> over here. Uh, you, you did this kind of different. You took the money from Star Search, and then you put out a single that had a hit on both sides, which is very unusual, and then you went to England to cut the album. Explain right. that to me. We uh, got a good deal on England, so we went there. Uh, we, uh, we wanted a producer, and uh, it just so happened that he was more comfortable working in, working in England, and so uh, it was actually less expensive to record the record there because he wanted to work with the band as well. So yeah. it was we, we also figured that it would be a good idea to get out of our home place so we could just concentrate on recording the record. So we you had to get away from family and friends? Well, yeah, it's more of a concentrated effort. So when you're recording, all you're thinking about is the recording process. And it's, you know, it's very intricate and a lot of little things that you need to be thinking about. And so we figured it'd be best to just concentrate on that. Dale, I was wondering, what do you look for mostly in a girl? Somehow I knew, somehow I knew that was going to come up today. That to ask his girlfriend. <laughs> Yeah, I've been with one for about five years, so I don't, I guess that's what I look for in a girl. <laughs> okay, we're, no, we're going to come right back, and you're going to be first in line. Right after this, when we come back on Twin Cities Live.